All right, what's going on guys? So Visual One hit me up asking me to have a look at his asset story framework. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Spoiler alert, I absolutely loved it. I liked it so much that I integrated it into my Deadpool project that I've been working on for the past month or so. And it was super easy to integrate. It took about 10 minutes. Not everything is integrated just yet. I'll show you all of the stuff. But yeah, let me just show you what the project has to offer. And after that, I'll show you what the project looks like straight out of the box too. Things that we can uh, interact with by pressing a key. It says to press the left mouse key but my left mouse actually does attacking so i've changed that to e so i can go up to it press e and then you can see that we have this note here we can change the pages and read it probably customize it to say wherever you want for example like f you deadpool love wolverine or, or something like that right i don't know and then we can press f to exit out of here and do the same thing here with the light and one of my favorite things here is the tv with the cassette we need a cassette to enter into the tv to insert into the tv so we have this cassette here we can look at it turn it around and, and then we can enter that cassette into the tv insert it and then turn on the tv and it's just a static tv it's great it's fantastic i love this so much i needed this for the deadpool game i needed like a static tv which deadpool can just turn on and then just say something and this is great I, I really really like this so there's a bunch of things here as well so if i interact with this mug here i could do with a warm cozy cup of coffee right about now there's like a little cinematic with some audio playing, which is great. This will be perfect for the Deadpool game where he can just interact with a bunch of random stuff. So yeah, we can do that. We can do the same thing with the- Awesome photo. Reminds me of my photography days. There's other things here too. So for this generator, for example, we need a wrench to make it work. So there's a wrench here. You can use the wrench onto the generator so we can turn on the light. Other things here as well. So over here, we have like a different camera perspective where we can go into here. And all I've done here is change it so the character isn't strafing anymore. And then once he gets out of this room, he starts strafing again. Cause that's just how I like my character. I want my character to be strafing. But once he's in here, strafing doesn't really work very well so he needs to be walking around normally i like that a lot i'm gonna be using that for the deadpool game for sure we have npcs over here so this is pretty cool we can like talk to wolverine let's imagine this is wolverine right and then we can ask him questions maybe he can tell us about a mission or something like that and that's pretty cool so you can choose like dialogue options and there'll be consequences to your options which is really nice and here's another monitor here so we can pick up this cassette over here but when we insert this monitor and interact with it as you can see like the camera will change so we can look at the monitor to see what the screen is better showing and then obviously we can change it from being static to actually playing something i really like this area this is like a, a puzzle area so once we interact with this briefcase seems locked let me search around for something that can help. And then over here, like you can put a clue if the player gets lost or if they need a clue or something like that. Looks like I need a tool to fix this. Right, so we need a tool, which is showing us the tool is probably in there. I really like that a lot. Basically, we can just go into this bush here, search the bush, and we're going to find this like pick lock or lock pick that and then the open trick. up the briefcase grab the wrench so we can use the wrench onto here and nothing happens smiley face that's great all of that worked for nothing happened <laughs> i'm just playing all right so here's an area where like you can play cinematics and quick time events unfortunately i don't have any set up i need to set those up so for example if i go into this bench here and try to sit as you can see deadpool's like missing so i'm pretty sure it'll be pretty easy to just set up where we can like um hide the swords or put the swords onto deadpool's back and then instead of the uh, um, UE5 mannequin we can change that to be Deadpool instead I'm pretty sure that would be pretty easy and yeah there's quick time events here as well so as you see Deadpool is missing again oops I'm, I'm so bad at quick time events okay we, we did that one why don't you just yeah. run away that Deadpool come on man this is uncomfortable swords don't kill people I kill people hey what's your blood type you're crazy! Okay, so this is what the game looks like straight out of the box. We have a main menu here, which I think looks pretty nice too. I could have just shown you this in the Deadpool project, but it's okay, I'll just show you it now. And we can click on new game. 
And then for example, if I was to save it here, so I can press P, save the game, save and quit and press any button. And as you can see, uh, this has changed to the time that is now. It's pretty cool. And it's saved our position too, which is pretty nice. And then I can just show you all of the cinematics. So you'll notice one thing, the character sitting down isn't actually the same character that we are. Like he doesn't have the backpack, the skin has changed and everything like that. We have this crate over here that I didn't show you guys. So, oops. So we have this crate. That will give you a set time to actually complete it. And yeah, I know it's still on the ground, but that's only just so you can do it again and again. I'm pretty sure we can just, once we're done with the quick time, it will be there if we want it to be like that. That's pretty much it. That's all of the project. I just wanted to show off one other thing too. All right, so I know that some people are going to try to compare Story Framework to Horror Engine. And you know, Horror Engine is free. Story is, you have to pay for it, stuff like that. But you can already tell the difference in quality between the two assets and you know one's free and one isn't right pretty much is a lot like horror engine where we can grab the cassette and then place it in here which is pretty cool as well i actually really like this one too i like this uh the tv model and everything that's really cool i like that like there's a lot of great things about horror engine there's a lot of interactions a lot of interactable items but there's just a different type of quality to story framework than there is on horror engine i'm pretty sure there's going to be such a huge learning curve between the two assets as well horror engine i imagine to be slightly harder but i know there are a lot of tutorials out there for horror engine but story framework is just super super easy and i'll link you the video that i use to integrate story framework into game animation sample he actually integrates game animation sample into story framework i did it the other way around and it still worked perfectly fine for me but yeah i think that's gonna be it for the video hopefully you liked it if you want to check out the asset I'll, as i said i'll leave the link in the description so you can have a look at it for yourself and yeah that's about it see you guys in the next one